So let's show in this clip how we use Excel to run a simple regression and where in that regression output to find important values we may need to analyze our data. So here's a table with weight and height data. We will run a regression, let me just type that here, where we use weight as the weigh eyes as the dependent variable and we're having a constant that's the alpha plus a beta coefficient times the height of observation i and then plus a residual term for observation i of course we don't know the population parameters alpha and beta we only have a sample so what we will obtain from our sample is sample estimates for alpha and beta and we'll call them a and b so what we use is the data analysis pack and we find the regression option and we get this little uh, window here so it says give us a y range and an x range i did that before that's why this is already in there but i just let's do that again you click on that little button and then for the y range that's the dependent variable we use the weight you can include the title, include the title that will simplify some of the uh, display later. Then the height is the uh, input range. If you have a title here, you tick label. So Excel knows the first observation is your label and you tell Excel where you want your output. Let's say we want it here. And let's click OK. So here is the output of this uh, regression estimation so this is the model up here we are estimating and um, so let, let's go straight to the most important things the coefficient estimates the estimate for the alpha is here right, so that is our coefficient estimate let's highlight that the coefficient estimates let's highlight those in yellow so this one here that is the sample estimate for the alpha and then the blue one here this one here 3.216 is the sample estimate for the beta these are the sample estimates right? so that's perhaps the most important um, elements to find then especially if you want to perform inference let me just make this a little bit higher. Then we need the standard errors for our sample estimates. And they are using the same highlighting colors. Here we have the standard error for uh, our intercept estimate for A. And here we have it for beta for B so what have we identified this guy here let's start with blue this is B this here is the standard error of B and then this was A and this value here was the standard error of A then if you want to do some uh, analysis of variance we get the uh, um, sum of squares total that is this one here that is the sum of square total so the total variation of our dependent variable which is uh, weight then we have the um, what we call ssr the sum of squared for the regression that is this value and the sum of squared of the error terms which is this value here and of course these two values together give you that value so what else shall we find the r squared for instance that is this value here that's the r squared that tells you the percent of variation in the dependent variable wi that is explained by variation of the explanatory variable that's the height 
Okay, so in this case, that's around 75% of the variation in weight is explained by variation in height. So that's sort of the most important elements of this, uh, of this recursion output. Perhaps one more, that is the number of observations. In this case, that is 12.